Hello! Today we are going to read two stories from Australia. Both the stories are from the book A World Full of Animal Stories by Angela McAllister. First let's look at the, let's look at the page. Look at this page. Australia and Oceania. Look at all those different kinds of animals. Do you recognize some of them? Which ones do you recognize? Our first story is called How the Kangaroo Got Her C Pouch. Kangaroo is watching her little Joey. A Joey is a baby kangaroo. Kangaroo was watching her little Joey play one day when an old wombat appeared wandering blindly through the grass. I'm so weak, he moaned. I'm so thirsty and hungry. I haven't a friend in the world. Kangaroo felt sorry for the old wombat. I'll be your friend, she said. I'll lead you down to the creek to drink and find you some tasty grass. She told the blind wombat to take hold of her tail and warned her joey to stand close as her arms were too small to carry him. Then, uh, then kangaroo led the wombat slowly down to the creek. The joey followed, but he was full of curiosity and forgot to stay close to his mother. While the wombat enjoyed a long drink and some tasty grass, kangaroo looked around for her joey, but he was nowhere to be seen. At that moment, she spotted a hunter nearby. Kanga realized that the defenseless wombat was in danger. She stamped her feet to attract the hunter's attention and then bounded off into the bush to lead him away from the defenseless wombat. The hunter followed Kangaroo for a great distance until at last, exhausted, he gave up the hunt. Kangaroo returned to the creek, relieved to find her joey asleep under a gum tree. But the wombat had just had vanished. To her surprise, the sky spirits appeared. Our sky father came here as a wombat to find out which creature had the kindest heart, they explained. You alone cared for him. So he has sent you this present. And they gave Kangaroo an apron made of eucalyptus bark. When Kangaroo tied it around her waist, it became a pouch to carry her joey. Such was the Sky Father's pleasure that every kangaroo mother has had the same pouch as a gift ever since. And so if you see a kangaroo, they do have a pouch that they can hold their the your baby in. All right, but we know that God gave them that, but it's fun to have stories about how it happened. All right, this one is called the emu and the brush turkey. There's an emu, and that's a brush turkey. Long ago in dream time, emu had the strongest wings and could fly far across the plains. Brush turkey, whose flight was clumsy and weak, was jealous of e emu's wings. One day, brush turkey thought of a way to trick emu. She sat in the grass with her own wings tucked out of sight, and when emu flew down to peck her for worms, brush turkey sighed loudly. <sighs> what a pity! You have to carry those heavy wings around, emu, she said. Anyone can fly. Clever birds walk these days. Emu looked puzzled. But, but I've seen you fly, she said. Not anymore, said Brush Turkey. Emu walked away. My wings certainly are heavy, she thought. Maybe Brush Turkey is right. So she clipped her wings to make herself lighter. The next day when Brush Turkey saw Emu, she spread her wings and flew up into a tree. Now I have the strongest wings, she boasted, and Emu realized that she had been tricked. A few days later, Emu hid ten of her chicks under a bush and took 
just two of them for walk past Brush Turkey's nest. How foolish to feed twelve chicks, she said loudly. With only two to feed, mine will grow much bigger and stronger. But you have lots of chicks, said Brush Turkey. Not any more, said Emu. Brush Turkey looked at her hungry brood. Maybe Emu is right, she thought, so she chased ten of her chicks away. Next day, Emu returned with all her little ones together. A clever bird knows that her strength is not in her wings, Brush Turkey, she said, but in the family around her. And that is why today Emus cannot fly and Brush Turkeys only lay two eggs. So the thought is you need to be content with what you have. Are you content? What things can you be thankful to God for?